My name is Torrance Gordwin, and I travel all around the United States to fish. And just look at that beautiful jerky bass. I am constantly pursuing bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something that made me really excited to come to Colorado would be combining fishing and biking. That's a Exit here for all B games. Getting closer and closer. Okay, we, now we finally found the baggage claim. Then we just gotta get the rental car and we're on our way. To be completely honest, I don't know exactly where we're at. We're out here at a reservoir. What, which one is this one? I don't know exactly. Horse tooth reservoir. Horse tooth. Oh my gosh. It's just like going new places and catching fish will always be rewarding. Like even if I don't catch anything, just getting out on, on the water and meeting cool people is always going to be a plus. So even if we don't catch anything, we're going to have a good time. That's, that's what we're about. <laughs> oh, you're good. Oh, man, that's always sketchy. <laughs> Especially when it's not yours. <laughs> Woo! Cut. Cut. Warm up a little bit? Yeah, bro. Where I'm from is uh, Texas, so I have no idea what's going on out here. It is extremely cold to me, like my hands are freezing right now. And um, I'm just out here to catch some smallmouth. This year I actually went out to Michigan and caught a uh, five pound smallmouth, which I showed Lucas uh, yesterday. And that was a gorgeous fish. So I just want to come out here and not obviously catch a five pounder, but still get on the smallmouth. So we should catch one or two. Yeah, and that's the plan. We just got to catch at least one or two and get that tug in. So just glad to be out here. Definitely. And just to give people reference, it's late September. It's what, September 30th and it's 46 degrees. So it's yeah. our coldest day of the year so far. So we're going to be chattering our mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. morning so we gotta pay our dues right now and I think this is just us paying our dues. I'm very glad the boat stopped. <laughs> Grew up mountain biking and fishing, been fishing since I was, I don't know, in elementary school I would jump the fence. I was telling Terrence over earlier I would jump the fence before, before school fish for like 20 30 minutes and then come back and go to go to first grade <laughs> yeah, I so i've been addicted forever riding mountain bikes forever and uh out here with this, our boy torrents that means fish on yeah. things are going down look alive lucas was hot holding out now I got the secret lure. Go! Oh. <gasps> Come on! <laughs> oh! You got him! Go! You're kidding! Got him! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! If that's not the most exciting thing ever. Dude, they've been chasing it. The real reason why I got into fishing um, was because of my grandpa. That was just something that we did uh, on the weekends or when we did have time. Most of the time, I just remember us being at church or at work. And uh, on Sundays, if we didn't make church, make church which was really rare, we would go fishing. And um, I just have this vivid memory of us being on the dock. And, and for some reason, I don't know who's looking at us, but it's like me and my grandpa on the end of the dock. It's me first and my grandpa's on the end. And it's just like a little can of worms. And it's like, you know, early in the morning, you could see like the, the, what is it? Like the fog going across the lake and all that cool stuff. And I just remember the smell and all this and just having that vivid memory of fishing with him will always be in my mind. So, um, 
yeah, that was just, we spent a lot of time together and he was a big part of my life. So when we separated, which was um, six years of living together, we had to separate and I had to go live with my mom again. Um, I just put down fishing for probably nine to 10 years. I, I didn't really pick up a rod, but um, he ended up passing away uh, three years ago three to four years ago and I wanted to reconnect with him and the best way to do that was to go out and fish because that's what we did. <laughs> Absolutely not, dude. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> is my ass supposed to be like this? Your ass is supposed to stay there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is, uh... That's yeah. different. <laughs> That's a sick jersey. Yeah, this is dope, though. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I'm taking that. I feel official as hell. But, uh, everything down there is pretty tight. Like, <laughs> it's gonna stay. <laughs> That's the goal. You don't want to move it around. Like, yeah, you don't want to move it around. That is weird, dude. Woo! Bro, yeah. that fishing was fun and all. But, uh... Clothes weren't tight enough. I feel like we had to get some tighter clothes and get the full on Colorado experience, man. What, you think this is it? Like, you think it this was, will... um, It was a little bit chillier this morning. I think it was time for the sun to come out and put some spandex on and, uh, yeah, get on some bikes. So let's go for a little bit. <laughs> I'm with that, man. Let's go. Let's ride. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. Catch up, dude. My quad lock isn't working. <laughs> Strava. You know, what do you think about life? I just think that you should yeah. take everything one day at a time. One day you know? at a time, live in the present. Yeah, a lot of people you know. take it, you know, they think about too much, but yeah. it's like when you get out there and fish, you just one lure at a time. One cast at a time, one pedal stroke at a time. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah! Hey! So in today's in today's expedition, what was probably like one of the funnier things that happened to you? Or like oh, today, uh, I would definitely say putting on this gear. Uh, <laughs> I knew when I when Reese said, "Okay, I got some gear for you." Yeah. I was like, "Dude, no, Reese." Like, I don't know how them boys get down out there. I don't know. We but... we heard you cracking up in the bathroom, so we thought something was going on. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it like, oh my, like I thought it was a wrestling suit, dude. I pulled out, I was like, no way. <laughs> I was supposed to just wear this without a shirt. Is this just like, one leg or both legs <laughs> yeah. going here? So that was funny, but now it's extremely comfortable. Like, I mean, dude, this shirt, I was telling you earlier, like, yeah. dude, I feel like a straight up professional out here. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, yeah. not, it's just a lot more comfortable too, you know? So I feel good. I feel like if you feel good, you look good. Yeah. If you look good, all that other things. Heck yeah. <laughs> What's true? Oh, do I go backwards too? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That's the way. Oh, Cheers, bud. Cheers, bro. You just experienced the, uh, you know, typical Saturday in Colorado here. Wow, man. <laughs> this is something else, man. Yeah, not a bad day.